Thank you so much for joining us. Cardiovascular Institute of the South, one of their physicians joining us again today. His name is Dr. Sivy. He practices in Opelousas and in Lafayette. We're going to talk about congestive heart failure today. What is it? And Dr. Sibby, good afternoon, first of all. Well, thank you. For and me. how prevalent is congestive heart failure? What is it? Tell us about it. So congestive heart failure is a condition when the heart actually becomes weak. There are many causes for this. How prevalent, as you asked, uh, approximately six million people in the United States actually have heart failure. Mm -hmm. And one in nine deaths, uh, every death, it's actually wow. attributed to uh, heart failure as well. So it's a very prevalent disease. Now, what causes this? So that's a good question. There's a less, I always get this question from all my patients. They go, what happened to me? Right. And so most of the time, the most common cause is a heart attack. Mm -hmm. And as we know, that that's very prevalent in general. Mm -hmm. But not everybody actually gets better from the heart attack. Okay. Some people actually still have damage, and that damage leads them to congestive heart failure. Oh. That's the most common cause. Some other causes are a virus, diabetes, hypertension. The other medical problems that most people carry with them that are kind of managed, if they're not managed appropriately, can lead them to congestive heart failure as well. So there are things that they can do to prevent it. Absolutely. All right, now, what are the symptoms of heart failure? Most people have shortness of breath. Mm -hmm. And the other main concern is really swelling, okay? People usually have some swelling in their feet or their belly, and then they're usually a little short of breath when they're moving around. Okay, so, and so the last question is, what can I do to prevent heart failure from getting worse? So like I mentioned earlier, if you can decrease your risk of having a heart attack, mm -hmm. exercising and dieting well, but the other thing that most people can do is making sure their other symptoms and their other medical problems are taken care of. If they have diabetes, they need to make sure their sugars are controlled. If they have hypertension, we need to make sure their blood pressure is controlled. So these are the main things. A general healthy lifestyle will prevent the problems that actually lead you to heart failure. And of course, getting regular checkups with your doctor and your cardiologist, right? Absolutely. You don't know what to treat if you don't know what you have. Exactly. Dr. Sibby, thank you so much. It's always very enlightening when we visit with you guys. Not a problem. Thank you very much. Cardiovascular Institute of the South. Go see one of their physicians and go to cardio.com for some very valuable information. Thank you for joining us.